Conservation of momentum. Momentum is always conserved if there is no external force acting on it. So if it's in an internal system and there's no forces acting on it from the outside, the momentum before and the momentum after will be the same. This symbol from the previous unit was summation, so you're adding. The hint to solving conservation of momentum is draw your pictures out. The number of pictures will determine the number of equations. So if you have two pictures, then there will be two equations. If there's three, then there's three. If there's four, then there will be four. So in this problem, we have a fisherman that jumps from a dock to a rowboat. He has a velocity of 4.30 to the west when he leaves the dock. So draw your picture out. So we have the fisherman and he's jumping. So he has a velocity going to the west. And then we have a boat. So they are separate, two pictures. And then at the end, they are together because they want the final velocity of the fisherman and the boat together. So if I identify mass of boat is 135 kilograms, it is at rest. So my velocity of the boat is equal to zero. Then we have the mass of the fisherman, which is 85. The velocity of the fisherman is negative because it's going towards the west. You could also make it positive, but you need to make sure you account for the direction on the opposite side. You tend to make less errors if you make going to the right or the east positive and going to the west negative. At the end, we have a mass total, which is the mass of the boat plus the mass of the fisherman. And we have velocity total, which is what we're looking for. We know the momentum initial has to equal to momentum final because there's no external forces. At the beginning, initially, there are two pictures. We have a boat and we have a fisherman. At the end, and there is one picture at the end, so there's one equation. We could cancel out the boat because it's at rest, remember? Momentum is mass times velocity. Since velocity is zero, momentum will become zero. So we have the mass of the fisherman times the velocity of the fisherman, which is equal to the total, which is mass of the boat plus the mass of the fisherman times the velocity total. And I'm going to plug my numbers in. 85 kilograms times negative. 4.3 meters per second equals to 135 kilograms plus 85 kilograms for the fisherman times V total. So V total becomes negative 1.66 meters per second. So that tells you that since it's negative, the boat and the person, the fishermen, are going towards the west. In this problem, we have a golf ball traveling at 55 before it hits a golf ball at rest. The golf ball after collision goes at 42. And what is the velocity of the golf ball? So draw your picture. So right before collision, we want the information. We don't care when they collide, and we want the information right after they collide. So we know the mass of the club is 215 grams. We know our velocity is 55 meters per second. We know the ball is 46 grams. And we know the velocity initially for the ball is equal to zero. 
after the collision, the mass of the golf club is still the same. It has a new velocity of 42. We have the mass of the ball, which is still the same. And we have velocity of the ball, which we are looking for. So if you notice, we have four pictures. That means there are four equations. Momentum is conserved. So we have ma momentum of the club plus the momentum of the ball. This is equal to momentum of the club prime. Prime just tells you it is different from the initial momentum of the club. Same thing with the ball. It's a prime. Different. I could cancel out the ball because it's at rest. Now I'm going to write my equation in. So momentum is mass times velocity. So MCVC prime plus MB v b prime so this is 215 grams times 55.0 meters per second this is equal to 215 grams times 42.0 meters per second plus 46 grams v b prime if you notice i did not convert any of my grams into kilograms Remember, momentum's unit, SI unit for mass was kilograms. Velocity is meters per second. Here, the reason I did not convert is because since it's gram in every single portion of the quantity of momentum, it just cancels out. You can convert it, but it will cancel out. So if all the units are the same, you could leave it as is in momentum. Solving for the final velocity of the ball, it becomes 60.76 meters per second. You need to multiply. You need to multiply this quantity. You need to multiply these quantities and subtract it to the left side. And then you have to divide by 46. Since my momentum at the beginning was positive, my momentum at the end is positive. This is why we have a positive velocity. Pause the video, draw the picture, write your equation, plug your numbers in, and solve. In this problem, we have a large car that is at rest. It is struck from behind by a smaller car traveling at 22 meters per second. So draw your picture again. We have a smaller car. V1 or mass one of the smaller car is 975. V1 of the smaller car is 22 meters per second. There's a larger car. And you call that mass two or car two. Mass is 1850 kilograms. V Two. Since it's at rest, we're going to have 0 meters per second. So prior to collision, this is what it looks like. After collision, they are coupled, so they are together. The mass total is the mass of 1 plus the mass of 2. We are looking for the mass total, or velocity total, sorry. So again, there are three equations. We have the momentum of 1 plus the momentum of 2. This is equal to total momentum. Remember, the number of pictures represent the number of equations. Momentum 2, I could already cancel out because my velocity is 0. So now I'm going to write my equation. M1V1 equals MTVT. M1 is 975 kilogram times 22 meters per second is equal to 975 kilograms plus 1850 kilograms times VT. So VT becomes 7.59 meters per second. So prior to collision, small car is traveling at 22. Big car is at rest. 
and after collision, they stick together and they travel together at 7.59 meters per second in the same direction as um, the smaller car. Why? Again, momentum has to be conserved. We made V1 positive, so V total is positive. So that means they are going in the same direction. Pause the video, draw your picture, write your equation, plug your numbers in, solve, and check your answer. In this one, we have a shopper that tosses a 9 kilogram rice bag into a stationary grocery cart. So we have a rice bag here. And we have a cart here. So the bag of rice has a mass of 9.0 kilograms. My velocity of the rice is 5.5. My mass of my cart is 18. My velocity of the cart is at rest, so it's zero. That's prior to collision. Collision, the cart and the rice bag are together. So my mass total is mass of rice plus mass of cart. And we're finding the final velocity or velocity total. Three pictures, three equation. Momentum of rice, momentum of cart equals momentum total. Cart here cancels out. So this becomes M1 or MR, VR is equal to MR plus MC of the cart times VT. Now I'm going to plug in 9.0 kilograms times 5.5 meters per second equals to 9.0 kilograms plus 18.0 kilograms times VT. So VT becomes 1.833 meters per second. So when the rice and the cart moves together, it will travel at 1.833 in the positive direction towards the right because we drew the rice being thrown to the right.